<laughs> Hello friends! Something I don't talk about very much in my channel is that I'm a professional face painter. And since I haven't been going to birthday parties due to COVID to do face painting, I have gotten a little rusty. So I thought this would be a good chance for me to practice and show you one of the things that makes me really truly happy, which is face painting. And so you can see here, I've got this little kit. I've got, whoo, oh God. <laughs> No! I've got a little kit to show you right here. I've got a few face paints. I only used three brushes and two sponges and just a few colors. And these are all things that are available with my face paint kits that I have in my Etsy shop. So here we go. I am going to spray some water onto my white. And I'm gonna use a sponge to just work some of that water into the paint. You wanna think of it like it's watercolors. You know how with watercolors, it's hard, like you can touch the paint before you use it, but then you just add water and then you can paint with it. It's pretty much the same thing with my face paints, except it turns into like a creamy foundation when you add water instead of being watercolors. And I can just sponge it right onto my face like this. And I'm gonna, and I love using the sponge around the eyes because it's nice and gentle. And you can see how bright it is. Like all I have to do is sponge a little bit on. And this is because I've got the right consistency right away. I only used a little bit of water and I worked the water into the paint and then it just becomes like a cream. Super easy. And you just sponge it on. It's really easy to blend white if it's wet and you use the stippling with the sponge. And I'm going to do what I call a full face tiger, which is more like a two thirds of the face tiger. It's not a half face. It's not really a full face either. It's okay if a little bit goes on your lips. Just don't lick your lips, right? Just like when you have lipstick on. So now I look pretty silly. I kind of look like a skull. And in fact, I could easily turn this into a skull, but we're gonna keep going with the next color, which is going to be pink. Just spray a little bit. And you can always add more, but it's really difficult if you add too much water because then it becomes drippy. So less is more. Get it nice and saturated on my sponge. And now I'm just gonna go over the white and it makes a really nice soft pink. It's already a very pale pink to begin with, but it looks really good blended in with the white. And I'm gonna make a couple of ears because I have a large forehead. So there's plenty of space for me to make a couple of cute little ears. That's where they're going to go. And I'm just gonna outline, put a little bit on my eyes like it's eyeshadow. And now my brush is getting a little bit too dry. So I mean my sponge, I'm just gonna put a little bit more. Now it got a little dry so I had to just put a tiny bit more and the damp sponge kind of reactivates the paint that's already on my face so it blends really nicely. Just doing a little bit at a time. And the place where I'm gonna keep white most is of course the muzzle, but then and then around the eyes. But I want to be a mostly pink tiger. And I've got white on one side of the sponge and pink on the other, so I can go back with a little bit of white if I want. Like this, on top. Cute, I've got a little f fuzz of fur there up on my brow. And now I'm gonna use another sponge for the third color, which is going to be purple, to make an outline. And now I can kind of shape, start to shape where I want. As you can see, I don't want to get any bigger than this. This is as wide as my painting is going to go. I don't want it to go all the way to the edges. I want to keep it nice and 
like a mask. I'm ready to use my brush set, also available in my shop. These are face paint brushes and they're fun because they're rainbow. I'm gonna put some green instead of black on my face and see how that looks so I can be a fantasy tiger. So I'm gonna take one of these, probably the bigger one. I'm gonna just get it wet with a little spray bottle. It's just like watercolor, I put some water on it. And I get it nice and creamy with my brush. This is a nice dark green. And then I'm going to make a couple of ears. And this piece. I'm gonna start making some stripes because tigers have stripes. They're really easy if you just put the brush down and then you carefully lift it up so it gets pointy on the end. This is weird to do in the camera. Oh goodness. It looks good when they're fat in the middle and then you make them skinny and they're all pointing towards the center. I'm going to put some on the side. A little bit more water, one little spray of water at a time so I don't get it too watery and then it'll drip. And you can see it's very wet but it's just right and it dries. Like this. And you can see I've got them at an angle and they're all pointing towards that center right in the middle. And harder to see this side. I'm just doing the exact same thing. And I like it when the little stripes are just a little bit outside of the edge of the mask. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Making a little cat eye with my eyeliner. Get it? Because I'm a tiger. And you can see I'm using my pinky to stabilize myself, but you be careful because you might get paint on your finger if it's still wet, which is what I just did. Oops. So you have to be careful. Now, if I put it over here, then I won't get paint on it. Okay, now I'm going to do something special to make this look even more like a tiger, which is I'm right at the corner of my eye. I'm going to extend the eyeliner and make a little line across like that. And then, if I take another brush and some white, just putting some white on a big brush, one of the brushes from the kit, 
and then I'm going to add a big glob of white. Boom. Boom. I might wait for that to dry and then do it one more time. Now I'm painting my bows. Okay, I have made the nose. Um, there was a little hiccup with my recording, so sorry about that. I did some dry brushing on the nose and I brought some lines down here on the muzzle. And now I've got some white on my tiniest brush from the kit. And I'm gonna do just add all the extra little highlights to finish it. Okay, I just went through everywhere and did highlights with my cute little white brush. And now instead of whiskers, I'm just gonna add some little dots right on top. Like this, and they're going big to small. Big, smaller, small, smallest. And that just has to do with how much of the tip I let on there. And who can forget? Some things. Face paint is perfectly safe to go on lips. It is non-toxic and it is FDA approved. And there you go. If you're curious to see more designs that could be created with the face paint kits that I sell, please let me know if there's any designs that you'd like to learn how to do, like any certain Disney princesses or certain animals or anything like that. I'd be happy to show you because one of the things that I love to do is teach other people how to create artwork with face painting. A lot of the face paints that I see on TikTok are amazing, but they're really difficult to do and they take a long time to do too. And sometimes there's face paints that are just really hard to use if you try to buy them in a store or you don't know what to get online. It can be pretty overwhelming. And so I wanna help you. I want you to try out my face paints and create some magic of your own at home. And I'd be happy to show you every step of the way. Just let me know. Thanks friends.